Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet for yourself or for whom you want uh, necklaces with any kind of beads, actually any kind of beads. So I worked this one, I just have to put a clasp but it's already and I work it with these beads I it, there are check beads I will let you the link below where I bought it I bought them I bought them on the Amazon and they come like this one pack with oh, a variety of measures and sizes and colors and there are uh, like this so so nice and these the, the blue and these are beads that I, I have had here and I just put them together and work them. So this is my first one. And now I have another one here with the same beads, check beads here. So look at them, aren't they beautiful? And I just want to put together something to create another necklace. So, as I said before, it's really easy, really nice, it's just our imagination. So if you like to work with beads and uh, you know how to crochet the Solomon's knot or the lover's knot, you are just uh, perfect for this, uh, this project. Now, uh, what you need is, you can use cotton thread, I'm using this kind of thread, it's very very nice actually to work uh, with the... Uh, with uh, beads and it comes this this kind of yarn in so many beautiful colors and i bought these two on amazon i will let the link below on these two so i have here and i had some i have somewhere a gray but these are the colors that i bought but there are so many beautiful cards so you can by the color of the yarn uh, more or less the same with the color of the the mixture of the uh, beads that you want to use for your project and it will be just perfect just beautiful now let me just show you here i have this kind of per, of beads so i just found them and found them here i i don't know when I bought them and where I really don't remember but I think they are really nice and I said let's let's try okay let a longer tail just to uh, use it for the clasp and I am using for this kind of yarn I am using a one point, uh, point yes 1.4 millimeters hook steel hook and let me just show you so how to begin chain 2 And single crochet okay now from here just begin to work your Solomon's knot but we want to include in one Solomon's knot one one two or three depends on how large they are depends on how long or short you want to make your Solomon knot okay because here I put two on one Solomon knot here I put three so this is actually this depends on you but the first cord let's say beading, beaded cord with the Solomon knot will be the length for your necklace and then you will just add other cords Solomon knot cords and this will be my first of this necklace yarn over so now I have the same length of the loop more or less the same as the as the bid is like this and now yarn over pull through the loop and now through the loop and the bead yarn over and single crochet and um, and that's it Believe me, that's it. Oh, I just want to show you one more time. So, like this. And now in between the loop and the bead, insert the hook, can you see? And single crochet. And now we just have to continue on like this and to measure to see 
how long we want to be our necklace if this is the first cord and for me for the necklace that I want to work this is actually the first okay just I think I will put some toho beads to go with I don't know like this now just continue on can you see how it's that easy it's something stupid okay Just let me finish this cord and I will be back. Look at this. Isn't it just perfect? But we just want, you can work bracelets or ra uh, earrings. Now, once you finished the lens that you want for your necklace, you just have to chain one. I already chained one and cut the yarn a little bit longer just to be sure it's enough to uh, not make knots for the clasp so just to put the clasp at the end so this is it this is what i have and this is the hat now i have to search for something to go with this so i also changed the color because i really didn't like that brown dark brown here and i choose this and I actually measured them and five are perfect for the length okay so you have to be sure that the length is nice so you can make it larger or longer so something like this okay now I put five there are check bits and four millimeters yes check bits and now let's go on so you don't need actually here I worked with a little bit of fire like this just to create the the needle okay to string the beads it's really easy with this this uh, kind of yarn okay so again i just want to show you how to join the two together of course you can join three four strings how many you want so i have the single crochet and now i just join it here into the first single crochet of this one there is my yarn so I will single crochet you can single cro crochet or um, slip stitch as you wish and now I will work my first Solomon's knot with my first five so I will join okay I will join with like this close them here in my first Solomon's knot okay and now I will just single crochet into the single crochet here okay this and now let us go on with one more just to show you how beautiful can be and easy okay crochet and join here okay and now look at this this will be my necklace so as you can see I just have I just worked two necklaces in no time this is more how can I say ethnic yes is this so it's it's really nice and easy now let me just finish this one this is more fancy from my point of view okay let me so depends on the bits actually that you use and you can put two three strings together i put two here and two here but of course you can go on and put more if you want larger necklaces okay now i just want to finish this and i will show you how it looks so I finished it, finished it, I already put the clasp, I just want to show you how to put the clasp but it's so so easy with this beautiful yarn it's 
it's a joke believe me I will show you just let me finish here believe me it's a joke piece of cake now I have it here and I just want to show you how it looks it looks like this just beautiful and this one it's here too I just put some more beads exactly the same only that I began here in the middle so I let out one side one sequence on one side then on the other side and then in the middle I put some more beads oops sorry I put some more beads I don't know just like that so you can just play 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 with this now let me just show you how to put the clasp I have here some clasp I will put silver here I have three okay no problem this is one and we can begin to make a nice knot and one and two maybe was better here the golden clasp oh it's okay okay Make some knots, make some knots and make some knots and then easy now you can cut cut them a little bit longer I mean just like this and now do you need only a nice lighter okay and try not to burn yourself one and two just adore it so what do you say about it isn't it beautiful here I want just to cut and to do exactly the same thing so as you can see it's so easy here to make knots we don't need knots like this okay perfect can you see and it's nice and secure don't burn yourself as I did here okay and it's nice and secure and this is what I have I just put have to put the other part of the clasp and yes I'm ready so hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe for uh, more tutorials if you like them don't forget to uh, leave me a nice comment and um, a nice thumb up and of course see you at the next tutorial bye bye